Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Of course, my name is What's Going On, ladies and gentlemen, of course, with the shortly upcoming release of the Minions film, I've been on a bit of a Minions and Despicable Me kick. I really, really, really loved the first and second Despicable Me films. Those were really fun, funny movies. Uh, Steve Carell as Gru is just fantastic, and of course, the Minions are awesome. Uh, of course, the Minions movie is coming up very shortly, and uh, to be honest, at first I was a little bit uh, hesitant about it. I was like, I don't know if... You know, the Minions could carry their own movie, and more importantly, I was a little concerned that it might be feel like a cash-in or something, but to be honest, it looks good. It looks funny, it looks fun, and it looks like it maintains that kind of sense of humor that I really loved in the first two films. Nonetheless, uh, of course, as you can see, Megablox has gone ahead and put together some really lovely looking uh, blind boxes for, of course, the Despicable Me lineup. And uh, I've got six here today, so that should be pretty fun to open up. Of course, you can visit minions.megablox.com for more information. Now, I don't know what to expect inside of these, so I'm not sure if it's all Minions or maybe Gru is in here or any of the other characters from the films are in here. So why don't we go ahead and just open up one of these uh, and see what kind of awaits for us inside. They're really interestingly done in terms of size. Uh, they're not kind of like, you know, your typical bulky size, but they're not also your tiny, tiny little scale. So it's almost like an in-between scale. So that's kind of interesting, uh, definitely unique. And the other thing that I find interesting about it is that usually on the boxes, uh, like especially on the back or something like that, they have the actual character and they would say like, oh, here's the minions that you can get here. This time around, it's not the case. So I'm really intrigued to see what is actually inside these. So without further ado, without delaying it any further, let's go on ahead and tear on into, oh, look at that. That's cool. <laughs> nice packaging. I like that. All right. So let's see. So I think I could just pull that tab back. Oh, look at that. There's another minion right there. <laughs> Looking adorable and crazy. And here we go. So we've got a little insert right here, which will hopefully help us settle the score in terms of what... Oh my god, you can get the purple minions! Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm so excited that I ripped the paper. And that's how excited I am. Oh my god. Alright, so... Let's see. So we got the, um, I guess, uh, surfing uh, right here. Tall minion, so that looks cool. We got the banana minion, so I definitely hope we get that one. Uh, we have Mr. Freezy Hair. Then we have uh, the photographer, I guess. The scientist with the explosion in his face, which looks awesome. And then, of course, the yellow minion trying to disguise himself as one of the purple minions. And then down at the bottom, it looks like maybe there is another one or something? I'm not sure. Uh, however, however, sorry, we also have the different... Uh, Rarity. So commons are the green ones, so these three are the commons. Then of course we have our rares as these two. And then our ultra rare is the freezy haired um, minion. So that being said, let's see who we got here for our first one. Oh nice, okay, so we're kicking things off with a rare, which is pretty fantastic, so definitely happy about that. Ooh, I like the perforated top there, you don't need anything to open it up. Alright. <laughs> All right, that's pretty funny looking. Uh, let's see, where are his eyes? Oh, there we go, I guess you just pull that over. Oh wow, it's like an actual, um, what is it called, like a rubber band? That's really cool. Okay, that's neat. They could have definitely just gone with like some weird plastic that could break off, I guess. But they went ahead and uh, put some really lovely stuff here. And then of course we gotta put him in his proper attire. Wait, do his like, hands need to go through that? Yeah, I think they do. Okay, so we're gonna try to get these just right which is easier said than done. So let me try to do this, especially on camera. Come in. Oh, whoops. Oh, actually, that is a better idea. There we go. You just remove his arm for a moment. I forgot, these obviously break apart. So that's the much easier way of doing this, actually, is just put him together. And then once you've done that, then, wait a minute. Here we go. All right, so let's just pull out his arm. I know that that sounds <laughs> evil and menacing. We sound like an evil person from the Despicable Me universe, but we're not, <laughs> or at least I hope not. Uh, all right, and then we're just gonna put his arms back. There we go. Let's give him his mace here, as that seems to be the weapon of choice. Man, these are really nice. I'm really surprised by how cool these are. These are cool. All right, so then of course he's got his little stand right there. And there you go, guys. So there's our first minion right there. Very, very nice indeed. Good print work. Again, as I said, this is cool that it's all like rubber. Same thing for this little uh, strap here. It feels like nice and solid, so that's great. And as you saw, it does have some stretch to it. Uh, and there's a bit of a tip right there, I guess, when you're assembling these, just uh, take the arms off. It's a lot easier that way. All right, so that's our first minion there. Let's set the first box aside. 
and let us see what awaits for us on the next one. So, box number two. Let's rip it open. Okay, same packaging. Lovely. I definitely like that quite a bit. It's really cool. Oh, whoops. It's so cool that I decided to rip it. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, nice. Banana. All right, I'm happy about that. That's that's the one I wanted the most, honestly. I mean, Freezy Hair is the probably the coolest looking one, uh, but this is the one that I personally wanted the most because he just looks so funny. Oh, whoops. Wait a minute. I just took his hand off. That's not what I meant to do. I wanted to take his arms off for a moment so we could put on his Gru little pullover here. So let's go ahead and do that. Pull the little straps up. Then his arms go into place. There's one. There's two. It's really interesting how these come together. Like, it's really unique because you can see the mouth is printed on, but then the actual eyes and the expression is a 3D uh, dimensional thing that is done through like a rubber little um, thing. So, uh, like a rubber. Um, Goodness gracious, what do you call it? Uh, headband. There we go. So it's really cool. I I'm surprised by the way that these come together because I thought it would just be a one piece like that. But uh, luckily they maintain kind of like, you know, the whole concept of it being mega blocks and therefore uh, assembled from pieces. They definitely maintain that. And it's really interesting how much range these guys have actually. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of surprised because the arms go out quite a bit. They go in quite a bit. They go up and down quite a bit. You obviously can uh, rotate the headband to look like more sideways or the other way. So that's cool you can kind of work around with that it seems like there might be some external parts that you could add to these for like crazy hair and such so that's cool they obviously can be mixed and matched as well so that's nice and then the legs even even the legs are on ball joints so that's very unique because you could even have them like standing on one leg like that for example so that's just really cool i mean i'm very 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 pleasantly surprised by uh, how much articulation these guys have because personally i really really like articulation so whenever we get the more the merrier is really the case with articulation so uh, I'm very, very happy with the way that these are turning out. And as you can see, very different uh, body types. So that's cool too. You can see, especially in a side view, this one's quite a bit chunkier, of course, uh, but this one is uh, quite a bit thinner. So it's really cool that they are different. They're not just repaints and such. So that's cool. All right, let's go with the next box here. Let's hope we can get, if, if we can get all six, that would be phenomenal. And did we just get our first repeat? No, awesome. All right, fantastic. So, here we go. So, so far we've gotten two commons and one rare, I believe. So, let's go ahead and put this fella together. Don't need to pull his arms off for this one because he's got a bit of a different uh, attire going on, as you can see. Um, I think his feet are pointed properly. Let's see. There we go. And then uh, let's give him his goggles. As always, you could uh, mix and match this as well. That's cool. Man, if we can get like an army of minions, that would be awesome. I would love to see more variations in the future for this. Uh, in fact, I know that they do uh, other uh, building block sets, so I will be doing uh, reviews for some of those as well, like the uh, big mobile that they have, uh, firefighter set, they have a couple of different ones. So uh, I definitely would not mind doing reviews for those, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I certainly do hope to do that sooner rather than later. He's also got a little bit of hair up here, so we're gonna put that up there. And then he's got what seems to be an ice cream cone, so let's put that together and I think it just comes together like so all right that looks pretty tasty actually and once again very different body types so no repeats but it's really cool how you can slowly but surely assemble like a whole army of minions like this and you could be the next Gru look at that <laughs> Gru with your crew all right next box number four let's see what we get in the fourth box and I think we just got our first repeat guys is this Mr. Banana? Yes, it is. All right, so we got another banana guy. I'll keep him in the package. So that will be most likely giveaway material, so stick around for that, of course. And let's see, box number five. Please, no repeats. Please, no repeats. Please, no repeats. Please, no repeats. Please, no re oh. <laughs> it's almost like I jinxed it by saying, please, no repeats. It, I caused it to be a repeat. Uh, but this is, of course, the uh, surfer guy right here, which is cool. Again, really neat uh, little hair piece there. So I guess that's bad for me, but good for you guys, because more giveaways. Whoops, there's a little plasticky leftover, please. Okay, at this point, I would not mind even having the camera guy. Oh man, this guy's cool too, the one with the explosion, like the scientist. If we could get the freezy hair guy though, that would be phenomenal, as our last one. Here we go, I'm gonna close my eyes, guys. You tell me what it is. I hope I opened it far enough. What is it, guys? Is it good? Is it bad? Okay, let me try to pull it out of there. 
Ouch. I think I just cut myself. Ow. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Oh, it's frizzy hair! It's Mr. Freeze! Mr. Freeze! Okay, this is awesome. That is cool. So he's the most rare of the bunch, so that's pretty lucky, if you ask me. That's not too bad. Oh, wow, that it's like actual hair. Wow, it reminds me of those, like, um... What were the name of those toys? Like the troll toys or something? What were they called? I don't remember the actual name of it, uh, but I remember that series. Uh, not super well, but I do remember it somewhat, so this is exactly what that reminds me of. Uh, wait a minute, am I doing this wrong? Oh no, this goes in there, doesn't it? Oh wow. Oh wow, that is crazy looking. Okay, so first and foremost, I guess we need to remove this, put this on. Man, this is awesome. This guy is just fantastic looking he also comes with a little potion thing so that's cool well look at that even his eyes purple good attention to detail man all right I'm impressed I'm very impressed by these all right so then I think I just plug that into there like so <laughs> look you can even give him haircuts I don't know how to do it obviously because I've never done that kind of stuff but you know people who know how to make like weird I, 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 there. I just gave him the Albert Einstein. There. Whoa! <laughs> the craziness haircut going on over here. That just looks quite wacky, I will admit. Oh, whoops. I messed up his arms. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. This is uh, your left arm. There you go. And this is your right arm. Man, this is really neat. This guy looks crazy. I'm, again, once again, shocked by the fact that it's an actual, like, hair and stuff. That's really, really cool. It's quite neat. I'm surprised that they uh, got to do that, because usually that would be pretty expensive, I would imagine, to actually pull that off. I thought it would just be like a plastic thing, like it would look like one way, but it's like actual hair. I guess I should have really noticed that on the picture here, because it does look like real hair too. But here you see, like, it almost looks a little plasticky, so I thought it would just be like one plastic piece. But it's like real hair! <laughs> I don't know why I'm so freaking out about this, but it's really goofy. Like, look at that, you could have him have like, maybe a side haircut like this. Look. He could have a banana growing out of his hair. There, look at that, banana hair. That's pretty sweet. Awesome, so we didn't do too bad at all. We got uh, the most rare of the bunch, so that's fantastic. No, banana, get back in the hair. Uh, of course, the uh, rarest of the bunch, which is the ultra rare, fantastic minion, uh, purple minion, uh, or the angry minion. Then of course, we have the uh, rare one right here, which is the yellow minion disguising himself as a purple one. And then we got two of the common ones, which is, of course, Banana Minion, as I like to call him, and the Surfer Minion. So, not too bad at all. You know, honestly, it obviously would have been amazing if we got one of each, so that then we have a complete set right away. That would have been incredible. However, I still think we did pretty well indeed. So, if you guys enjoyed this, of course, blind box video, and you guys want to see maybe more Despicable Me Mega Blocks unboxings in the future, don't forget to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below. And then, of course, stay tuned for more Mega Blocks Despicable Me goodness right here on the Blitzwinger YouTube channel. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a fantastic, fantastic day, and I will indeed see you folks later. Alligators. That is a very scary looking guy right there. Look at that eye. He's like, I like ice cream. Give that ice cream to me.